Kevin Hart is once again poking fun at his pal, Nick Cannon. The comedian took to Instagram to reveal that he sent his buddy a pretty cheeky gift, a vending machine full of condoms. Quote, I see you got my gift at Nick Cannon. Gotcha, Now you don't have an excuse because the condoms are free. Hashtag prank wars. Kevin wrote alongside a pic of Nick posing next to the not safe for work gift. Nick posted the same photo on his own IG account a day earlier, but didn't disclose who sent him all those condoms. Writing at the time, quote, looks like somebody just sent me an early Valentine's Day gift. Vending machine full of magnums. Kevin's latest prank on Nick comes just days after the TV host announced that he is expecting his eighth child, model Brie Tessie. The mass Singer host is already a father to seven other kids. And he welcomed a baby boy Zen with Alyssa Scott in June 2021. But the infant tragically died at just five months old on December 5th after being diagnosed with brain cancer last year. The 41-year-old recently explained on his talk show how challenging it has been to celebrate the new addition to his family while mourning the loss of his son. This whole process was extremely difficult for me because um, I've known about, you know, Bree's pregnancy for a while now, even before my youngest son, Zen, passed in December. And so even going through all of that, this was always in the back of my mind, like, when is the right time? How do I share this? You know, no one, we didn't expect Zen to pass away. We didn't, you know, all of the news was so unexpected. So to kind of figure out a chronological order or a hierarchy, it just, it, it kept me up at night. And, and that was, I always talk about the guilt that I felt, you know, in, in losing Zen and even from, you know, how to deal with this for my other children. And that was a lot of the guilt as well, too. The, the guilt for everyone involved. And I just really want to say thank you to every one of my family members who just been so understanding and helping me through this process.